Ah, uh, that's better. Hey there, I'm Jeremy, and this is The Stock Factory. Before I get into it, I just want to be upfront around the fact that I am not a financial advisor in any way, shape, or form, and everything that I'm telling you today is for entertainment purposes only. Please go out and do your own research before investing into stocks, do your own due diligence, this is your hard-earned cash, make sure you make the most of it. So before I get stuck into today's video, I just want to say I've got something really exciting planned uh, to come out early to mid next week. Um, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, you do not want to miss this one guys I promise you you do not want to miss this um, and while you're at it you know just smash that like button uh, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm um, and it'd be greatly appreciated as well so without further ado let's get into it so it's been a massive week not only for Novonics but also for the rest of the market in the last two days we did see a large correction in my opinion where the market is really disconnected from reality and the rest of the economy. We know that GDP is reducing, unemployment levels have risen, um, and the stock market just keeps going up. And to be honest, that doesn't make me feel comfortable at all. It just doesn't make sense, and I really don't like things when they don't make sense to me. So the whole thing is here is that I don't know if this is going to be a fully-fledged uh, stock market crash uh, like we saw in March, but at the end of the day, nobody really knows what is going to happen next. What I do know is I have my long-term investment strategy and that is based around research, knowledge of companies and the disruptive technologies in which they produce. Novonics, ticker symbol NVX. They've had a huge week. Uh, they had 82% increase on the first two trading days of the week, um, absolutely blindsiding uh, quite a few retail investors out there, completely understand why that happened. And at the end of the day, it's just been huge. So really volatile, um, obviously it was around sort of 80 cents um, thereabouts in the previous week. It went all the way up to $1.40, the $1.50 range. And then we've had quite a bit of volatility over the last few days, uh, which have been for Practically no reason except for the fact that the entire market has been volatile. Um, the situation at Novonix hasn't changed at all. If anything, we've just actually received more information. I'll get into that in just a moment. So the market corrected. We lost about two weeks worth of gains in, in a period of two days. To be honest though, I'm not even mad. If you have a look at disruptive technologies and how they fare within crisis or crashes, they're actually the ones that come out on top. And so where this gets exciting is I was looking at my just you know just a few stocks that I have highlighted in um in my trading account and Novonix was the only stock uh, that actually went up on Friday uh, only by a very minute percentage it was around 2.73 percent but if you look at the other stocks that I was just keeping an eye on it's absolutely ridiculous uh, just massive losses all the way around and uh, this is something where this is a bit of a proven strategy for me. When you see that all of these other stocks are going down, but Novonix is still resilient and hanging around that sort of dollar, dollar 18, um, then that's something that, you know, you can kind of hang your hat on at the end of the day. Novonix is a disruptive technology. Uh, they've, you know, they've innovated, they're above the curve. Um, and what this means is that they're actually better in a crisis or crash. This is something that Kathy Wood, uh, the CEO of ARK Invest, uh, commonly talks about. It's around this concept that whenever there is a crisis, um, the players who are well positioned to innovate and develop their products to be in better quality and at better prices always fare better. If you're holding onto this stock in the long term, if you bought it at $1.40 and now it's closed out at $1.10 or $1.18 or thereabouts and, and you are at a loss, if you are investing in a long-term strategy, it doesn't matter. What is a few cents in an entire stock if you're going to be holding this stock for the next five to 10 years? It simply does not matter. Okay, if you're looking at a short-term trading strategy, yeah, you're screwed. You've just lost all your cream, all your profits out the window and that's not a situation which you want to be in. But I'm telling you now that if you're looking at a long-term investment strategy, there's nothing to worry about. You've got, you're invested into a really innovative company with all of their ducks in a row. The stars have aligned for Novonics. The planets will align ever so nicely. Uh -huh. Good, good. Now yesterday morning, they had a investor presentation webinar. 
There was around 700 attendees and there was a presentation by CEO and co-founder of Novonics, Dr. Chris Burns. Now he essentially went through a presentation that got us up to speed on a lot of things that I was going through in my first video, um, which I'll link just up here. So I'm gonna go through the stars that have a line for Novonics. The first of which is their technology. They've got two patents. The new manufacturing method for battery materials, the first one. The second one, which is the advanced cathode material manufacturing method. So this shores them up in the market in terms of the ways in which they can produce these high quality materials. The second star that's aligning for Novonics is how they have an advantage over their competition. Now, if we have a look at this graph, it actually allows us to visualize the way in which Novonics has revolutionized the battery capacity of lithium ion batteries. Now I've gone through this in more detail in my previous videos, but this is a really great way to visually represent how Novonics allows a lithium ion battery to have more cycles over time. In the black line we can see the performance of synthetic graphite, which typically comes out of Japan and China only. And then finally at the top of the herd and absolutely coming out on top at a better price too is Novonics. What we can tell is that this is over 700 cycles. Where that gets exciting is when this graph will start to increase from 700 and go into the long tail. Once we start to go into a longer term thinking and we're solving for the million mile battery, Novonics is gonna be so much further in front than this graph uh, shows us. The next star that has a line for Novonics is that they have a list of A grade clients with their first orders. Now this is huge. They're going to be delivering 500 tons of synthetic graphite to Samsung in October. But the point here is that Novonics has a beginning relationship with these companies. The idea here is that in supplying them, 500 metric tons is negligible. It is literally a test run for them. It's saying, if you can pull this off, if you can give us high quality material at the price that you told us, which is better than that of China and Japan, and it's a better quality material. If you can nail this and you can deliver on what you've said, that's a long-term partnership opportunity. And when that happens, the scaling up of Novonix's manufacturing process is going to be immense. And this is when we're gonna start seeing um, increased profitability within the business. There's only one thing that leaves us questioning, can they pull this off? And that honestly is just the talent and ability of their management. Are they capable of ramping up production at high quality and low cost like they promised Samsung? Are they capable of scaling up to meet the um, increased demand of electric vehicles in the next few years? Is this something that they're capable of doing? Yes, they have been able to research um, battery technology faster than any other company and build a product. Yes, that's one thing. The other thing is actually scaling it up to a point where they absolutely dominate the market. So with this one question, this one variable in our minds of can management actually pull this off? Can they scale? Can they go above and beyond to meet this increasing demand? I'm gonna leave it there for today. And I'll tell you why, because next week I'm going to address that exact question. And that's why I asked you, if you're interested in finding out if management can pull this off, hit that subscribe button because I will be addressing that next week in an extensive video. And trust me, you don't wanna miss this one. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button while you're at it because you're a bloody legend. But look, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for your time and enjoy.